Hello and welcome back to another video. We're about to enter the festive period of fixtures and in this video I'm going to be predicting the scores of game week 23. These matches take place on Friday the 22nd and Saturday the 23rd of December but last game week in game week 22 top scorer with a, a lovely score of 15 and a half points was summer of 2018 and he or she came away with three perfect scores. For the overall leaderboard now though, Alex Cochran still at the top, just eight or seven and a half points in front of Brary 5553. So it's all to play for, lots of points for us to catch up on the likes of Alex. But on the, the Super Brew Predictions League, and we start the game week on Friday evening where Bristol City, the Wurzels, take on Hull City. The Tigers, Bristol City, gaining their first victory in five matches with that 1-0 win against the Black Cats of Sunderland. And Hull City now back-to-back -back wins. They followed up that win against Middlesbrough with a comprehensive 3-0 victory. Over the Bluebirds Cardiff City in this one, I think it's going to be a tight affair. Hull, I think it's got that little bit of nous, that little bit of quality, and I can see them winning this one. 2-1. I do think they'll concede away. I think Bristol, more often than not, they'll um, they'll score at home. Then we move on to the first of the Saturday fixtures where we got Blackburn Rovers coming up against Watford. Uh, Blackburn, not sure what you'll get with them. Decent at home. Watford, after me seeing them, I think I've mentioned this a few times now, one not impressed with them, but they did have an impressive victory against Preston North End 5 one up, they'll want to continue that going into the festive period. Watford, their tails are up, and I think they'll come away with a victory here. I, I'm going to go for the same score as that previous fixture. I'm going to go for a 2 1 away win to Watford. We then go to Ellen Road, where Leeds take on Ipswich Town. This is the game of the, the game week. Leeds in third, Ipswich in second. Can Leeds claw back that deficit against the likes of Ipswich and Leicester. Well, Ipswich Town drawing their last fixture against Norwich in that East Anglian derby and Leeds now a draw against Coventry. Can they bounce back in this one? I think at home, just before Christmas, I think Leeds are going to actually take all three points in this one. There'll be a few goals and I think the Whites are going to come away with a 3-2 win in a five-goal thriller. We then move onto the King Power Stadium, top of the table, Leicester taking on Rotherham. This should be a straightforward win. Uh, Leicester beating Bristol, Birmingham City 3-2 on Monday evening. I don't think they'll score a hat load, but I can't see Rotherham scoring in this one. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 home win to the Foxes. Then we move on to Riverside Stadium, where Middlesbrough take on West Brom. This one's well up in the air. Either side could win this one. Can West Brom get back to winning ways? Middlesbrough did with that 2-1 victory, which I predicted correctly in South Wales against the Jacks. I think West Brom going away to Middlesbrough. They will make it tough for the Baggies, but I think West Brom will come away with a 1-0 away win. We then move down to Carrow Road, where Norwich take on Huddersfield. Hor Huddersfield, just the one win in their last seven matches. However, they've only been defeated twice in that match. Last time that was a 1-1 draw against Mill 1. Of course, Norwich drawn that. Game against Ipswich Town, 2-2. I think Norwich may just have a little bit too much, especially with that back in from their home fans. I'm gonna go for a 2-1 home victory to Norwich. And we then move on to the South Coast with Plymouth Argyle. Score plenty of goals. Birmingham starting to score goals now, but it's, it's just the one win in their last four, and that was against Cardiff, who aren't that great at the moment. Being defeated 3-2 in that match against Leicester. I think they were actually in the lead in that game as well, Birmingham. But uh, this one, goals again. I don't really want to go for another 2-1 scoreline, but I, I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to give it to the Pilgrims, which I think they'll come away with a 2 one home win. We then got QPR coming up against Southampton. Southampton looking really good at the moment. Uh, QPR after four or three wins on the bounce and the draw, they lost to Sheffield Wednesday, their close rivals at the bottom of the table. And Southampton with that 4 0 thumping of Blackburn Rovers. I think they'll follow that up, the Saints, with another win. I can see them scoring three, but I think. 
QPR at home will score a goal as well. This one, Sheffield Wednesday against Cardiff City. Cardiff at the moment cannot score. I think it's just one goal in their last five matches. Things are going to have to turn around quickly for the Bluebirds. Okay, I think there's something like five or six points off playoff zone. Sheffield Wednesday, three wins out of their last four and a good 2-1 victory in their match against QPR. Cardiff struggling to score goals. I think they will against this Wednesday side. I think when they have picked up a couple of injuries like Sir Callum Patterson. I think you stretched it off in that last match. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one score line. And after some defeats, I think Cardiff may be happy with that. Then we've got Stoke against Millwall. This one's got draw it and over it. So again, I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw. Then we move up to the Stadium of Light. Coventry City, one defeat in the last six matches. Sunderland, a little bit inconsistent. You know what, I'm going to go for a, an away win to Coventry. They've sort of turned the corner with a bit of um, a handbrake turn as well. So I think they're going to come away with a 2-1 away win. I think they'll concede. And then the final fixture of this game week takes place. South Wales, Swansea City against Preston. Preston bumped in their last match where they lost 5-1. And Swansea losing that game against Middlesbrough 2-1. I think they were up 1-0 in that match as well. This could go either way. It could end up in a draw. I think I'm going to have to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one school line. So make sure you leave your predictions over at the Super Brew website. See if you can climb up the table. See if you can get ahead of me in that, that lead table. And let's see if we can catch up. Mr. Cochran at the top of that leaderboard as well. My next predictions in the EFL Championship will be after Christmas. So if you are celebrating Christmas, then I hope you will have a good one. But for now, bid you farewell and see you all in the next video.